Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the world's smallest true Class A gas motorhome. It's under 30 feet, so it's perfect for state and national parks. This is the 2024 Integra Coach Vision Model 27A. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Vision and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Before we start the video, I wanna tell you about two RV shows. First, November 9th through the 12th in Tampa, Florida is the Tampa RV Fall Show. I personally will not be there this year, but General RV will be there this year. So if you guys attend the show and you see an RV that you like wanna buy, make sure you ask for Matt's cash so we give you the best price in America. But then the same day, November 11th, which is Saturday, I will be in Huntley, Illinois at the General RV. So if you live in Chicago or around the Illinois area, make sure you guys visit me. I'm doing a meet and greet big sale at the Huntley, Illinois store. We're gonna have a free food truck, amazing sale prices and everything. Can't wait to see you guys in Huntley, Illinois. And I'm sorry I missed everybody at the Tampa show, but we are gonna have phenomenal prices at both locations and online. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be showing you guys the Vision 27A. This is a true class A gas motorhome built on an F53 chassis. Yes, we've seen other class A's that are smaller, but they're not really class A's. They're, they're kind of like crossovers. So really excited because it's perfect for state and national parks. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hey, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. Another beautiful day here in Wixom. Yeah. I am excited. I don't get to see a lot of these smaller class A's. No. And so this is exciting for everybody that wants to travel to the state and national parks. Exactly. And Andrea, we do sell Integra Vision across every region that there's a general RV. So let's begin. Model is Integra Coach Vision 27A. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 29 feet 11 inches. So it's perfect for that state and national park. Right up front here, Integra Coach, it looks beautiful. New for 2024, it, this used to be a black color. Now this is a silver color, a silver paint, if you would call it, but only in the front. The rest is still uh, fiberglass graphics and decals. I love the big Integra Coach headlight design right here and nice big LED lights. And then look at this wraparound windshield, Andrea. Integra Coach does have the biggest windshield in the RV industry. Again, it's built on an F53 chassis, making it a true Class A motorhome. And that means, you know, it's gonna have the 7.3 liter V8 Godzilla <coughs> engine. Are you all right? I am totally fine. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just get so excited when I see I these know, Integras. I know, I know you do. Because the Integra, it does have an Easy Drive Elite which is a computer balanced drive shaft system. Right here, we do have black mirrors with cameras integrated in the mirrors. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Continentals, I love those. 245-70R, 19.5. And that's a big indicator, Andrea, because the crossover ones, they have the smaller 16 inch wheels. They're not gonna ride as nice as the, 20, as the uh, 19.5s. Right here, we do have storage right there. Very nice. Over here, we have a TV on the outside. Insignia with Furion sound system, power and radio there. And then check Ooh, out this storage good here. Pass through. And even though it's an entry level motorhome, Andrea, you still have slam latch doors, frameless windows, which is beautiful and a very nice power awning with led lights love the size of the awning yes right over here we got more storage all right propane quick connect if you want to have a grill for the outside a little bit of uh, more storage there because you can never have enough nice water heater here and more storage there coming around the back andrea we do have a, oh, a drill. We have a drill. This one comes with a drill. America. Nice. nice. You know, somebody's looking for this. <laughs> right. We should put it on the golf cart and take it back. Nah. 
Nice bumper for the stinky slinky. 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. You do have a backup camera and a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. And then finishing up. Ooh. Look at this water bay. Nice. Beautiful. Outdoor shower, city water connection, potable water fill, potable, potable. And a 50 amp power cord right there. Right here we do have. Fuel fill up. Hang on, that sticker says 30 amp. But that power cord definitely looks 50 amp. Yeah, that's 50 amp. Okay, cool. Right here, here's where you dump your tanks. Very nice. Over here, you got your Omni 5500 generator. So it's definitely 50 amp. Nice storage on this side here, Andrea. Other side of the storage. Right here is the propane. In a battery, battery there. Bank on a Mori tray. Hey, Miss Jennifer, if you could, bing, please put all the specs of this motorhome right there for everybody who is watching on television. And then there's a little bit more storage. You know why, Andrea? Because you can never have enough. Never, never, never. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Vision looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Oops, I almost tripped. What's well, new? Right. Oh, and then let me show you guys this. Oh. This has the cat strap, which is a strap that makes it harder to steal your catalytic converter. Nice. Check out the inside. All right, grab our cargo carrying capacity. 2,127 pounds. That's pretty good for how small this is. All right, guys, so we have the slide in, but look at this walkway. Wow. I mean, it's pretty spacious. It gets a lot more spacious right here. Not a problem to open the fridge. You do have a fold up bed here in the master bedroom. And here is the bathroom. So we gotta get these slides open. Yes, ma'am. And while we do, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. With RV Life Pro, you get RV Life Trip Wizard. You can find all the national parks, state parks, city and local parks, even the cores of engineers in the BLM lands. You'll also be able to find every campground brand and clubs from AAA to Yogi Bear, Good Sam, Thousands Trails, KOAs, and more. Travel dreams and destinations are made simple with RV Life Trip Wizard, and that's a part of RV Life Pro. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. All right, Andrea, as you can see, it's a small motor home, but still very, very spacious on the inside. Let's get started in the front cockpit area. Andrea, this is Ford, this is trucking. Cup holder, auto leveling, power shades, heated mirrors. Look at this, very nice steering wheel. Here's my point of view as I'm driving. And look at this huge windshield. I love the curvature windshield, Andrea. Gives you the most views. Imagine driving down Route 66, you know, seeing whatever 66 has to offer. Right there, we do have a radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You're also able to see your left side and right side. You have these like little beads right here, or whatever. So you're, you put your cell phone there and it won't go sliding everywhere. And then right here is cup holders. Andrea, how do you feel in the co-captain seat? Um, It's comfortable. Talk it's a comfortable me. seat. I like that they both swivel. Okay. We have a pedestal table that would go there. Yes. But most importantly, I love that it has a workstation a here. A sturdy work workstation. Yes, and like a leather top. Yeah, it's actually pretty nice. And then I have an electrical outlet here, a USB, a place for my cell phone. Yeah. I've got a cup holder here. Very nice. And then above, if you can see, we have a little bit of storage. Okay. Nice. And we got the same over here. This one's not storage. And then this one is storage. And then we have a bunker of the cab with the key in it. Holds 750 pounds. Yeah, and this one's definitely one of the best ones. It's the Lippard bunker over the cab. I like that they put the wooden slots in there. Yes. Very, very nice. And it appears that they adjusted their cabinets. Very good. Right. 
It does come with the ladder. Yeah, and what I say, of the old ones, that cabinet used to fall right, right. on the sofa or um, the passenger seat. So I'm glad they made those little tweaks and adjustments. And just so everybody knows, there is a seatbelt up there for safety. When it's plugged into the seatbelt, it won't drop down. Storage right there. Very nice storage above here. Again, continuing with the farmhouse look for this year. You know what? I'm a little disappointed because it's like we've seen this for like three or four years now. Yeah. But at the same time, with what they did with the uh, Accolade, it's like, I like to see improvements, not yes. deprovements when it comes to the interior look and decor. And let's take a look at this balance, huh? Let's see how they did on these balances. Approved! Oh, Andrea loves those balances. Very nice. We have a huge window right here and this very nice slow rise privacy shades. No daytime shades not expected in this motorhome. Right here, we do have a very nice sofa, okay? Um, this jackknife's down to make a bed. You do have seatbelts here. And I like the size of the sofa. Three people could easily sit here. And then we're looking kind of catty corner to where the TV is on the televator. So first and foremost, by the televator button, there's USB and power, okay? This raises up and lowers down insignia, very nice. And then we do have storage above here. How do you like that? Uh, yeah, nice storage. It's little, for it's sure. It's little, but you know, it's at least they gave you some. You can see the coax in there, electrical outlet, the yes. cup holders here in the dinette. Yes, and then when the TV's down, you do have that nice window. And then I'm sitting in the dinette and you know there is storage in the dinette. Right there is where your car seat tether goes. And we should have our piano hinges, of course. Which we do. So it's lovely to see that on every one now. Yes. It only took a couple of years, Matt. It's not about that. It's <laughs> but about- we did, they did it. Yes, and we appreciate them. We appreciate everybody at the Integra coach team, not for listening to us, but listening, listening to you guys, you guys, the viewers, because without you guys, we'll never see these changes. Andrea shows this beautiful kitchen. Okay, so uh, look at this kitchen. The first thing I see is electrical outlet here, which is nice, and a counter extension. Yes. And then above here, we have a cabinet. Okay. With the shelf. I see a tower of power right here. Hey, that's a nice tower of power there. We've got a sink here and an extension. Okay. And then above this microwave, we have more storage. Very nice. Good size microwave. Yes. Free burner, propane, Furion cooktop. Okay, okay. I do like that they can at least did the backsplash all around. Looks good. There's an oven. Yes, ma'am. And then we've got some drawers here. Let's see. Did you mention the countertop extension? Yes. Very nice. Big drawer there. Very nice. And then behind me is wow. Okay, so this is the Furion residential refrigerator. Love this. Um, look at that. Wow. Yeah, it's a big refrigerator. Very nice. Wow, and wow, wow. There is a drawer under there. Let's see. Oh, that's a big drawer. Tons of space here, Andre. I don't see a pantry, though. Well, I mean, it is 29 feet, 11 inches. That's true. And here's what I will say. There is a door from the bedroom out to the living room area. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. You ready for this? MSRP on this motorhome here, stock number 288670, is $190,270. Andrea, MSRP. We have it 28% off to a sale price of $136,995. That is a phenomenal price. And Andrea, as great of a price as that is, I know we can get everybody an even better price than that. All you guys have to do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I have that link linked down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us, Andrea, and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys and they will make sure you get one thing and one thing only, and that is... The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. All right, Andrea.
Let's look into this master bedroom. All right, nice wardrobe here. Yes. Two-tone colors. Now, I do like these two-tone colors. Yeah. There's some RVs that I don't like, but this one is nice. They did a good job. Yeah, it definitely gives you that separation. But look at this. Look at all this wardrobe space right here that they have. Wow. With the shell. Who needs shelves. a pantry when you have this? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, they could have made this a pantry over here. And a partridge in a pantry. <laughs> and then how many drawers do we got? Six. Oh, good size. How many days till Christmas, Andre? I have no idea. From the date of this video, I'm going to guess <laughs> it is, uh, what is 64 today, days. Yeah, but but no, the day this video goes live. Weeks. Oh, oh, oh gosh, Matt. No, I'm You're gonna asking say, me to work my brain too much. We'll say 47 days away. Jen, <sighs> bing, tell us how many days we were away from Christmas. I say 47. Uh, bro, did, did you, you say not, 41? I said 47. Oh, sorry, you said 47. Okay, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 50 then. Okay. Jen, let us know who's right. We got more storage there. Bro. <laughs> I haven't drank all my coffee yet, you know. Neither have I, Andre. Neither have I. Very nice storage in the rear here. Back here. King size bed. King size bed. Okay. Very nice storage. I do like how they have the uh, cabinets this way and not just like three big cabinets. Yes. And then they did give you tiny little nightstands yes. here with... Um, does that have tower power or is that just a wireless charger? It's called a pog of power. Oh, is it a pog? Yeah, it's a little pog. Oh, nice. And you got that USB right here. Okay. Andrea, if you look here, I'm laying on the king size bed. And yes, there's a fold in the king size bed. But at least it's a king size bed in a motorhome that's truly under 30 feet long. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it is what it is. Okay, going into the bathroom. Oh goodness, we have a very big step up. Nice big 30 by 36 shower. Nice glass door. I got tons of space in here. What do you, oh, how, how, how do you feel right here? Yeah, it's spacious right here. Okay. We've got uh, storage under here. Yes, ma'am. I don't know why they keep doing this with the sponges. Okay. Little, little sink. Yes. Um, And the medicine cabinet. Oh, with liquefied, our brand of RV toilet treatment, the best gift for the holidays. That's right. Guys, do you have that father or mother or relative that's just impossible to, to buy for? <laughs> well, listen, nothing's going to make them smile more than some nice RV toilet treatment from the Matt's RV Reviews team. We should have a candy cane edition. Yes, make it smell like peppermint. We're not going to do that, but it would be funny. It would be. Oh no, Matt. It's porcelain. But my leg, I can tell now, it is sticking out of the doorway, Andrea. So unfortunately- Close the door, Matt, let me see. Oh yeah, you are a little sparse. I mean, and don't get me wrong, I, I could totally make it work. Again, this is for, you know what? I'm not even gonna say it. It's not a prime poop position. Womp womp. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody goes, it's time to give people three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Um, let's do three things that we dislike about it first. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, okay turn around. Okay. I don't like how tight this bathroom is. I, I don't like how it's not a prime pooping position and my foot was sticking out. But the reason why I wanted to do that first is because that's dislike number one, actually. Dislike number two, is gonna be the fold up bed, okay? But here's the deal. To get a king size bed, and to get a bathroom like this in a motorhome that's truly under 30 feet for state and national parks, you have to deal with these little things for the bigger picture, and that is the 29 feet 11 inches. So that's just like number one, and just like number two. Andrea, what's just like number three? Just like number three for me is going to be the fact that there's no designated pantry. Womp womp. Um, you have a nice wardrobe there. Yep. I don't know why they couldn't have done this as a they pantry. Should, they should have done this. It, yeah, they should have split it. Yeah. They should have given it the option. Right. Because again, even though it's in the bedroom, it's a small motorhome and right. you wouldn't have to make it work. It's just right here. It's <laughs> just right there. Yeah. Andrea, easy breezy. That's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Sure. I'm going to say the fact that this is a true class A on the F53 chassis, how it has the slam latch doors, and how it has frameless windows. 
Those exterior features I absolutely love about it. That is number one. Can I give you number two? Sure. Talk to me. This refrigerator? Look at this. Huge from head to toe. Get low, get it low. is. Look how much taller it I is. I love this you. fridge. This is so nice. Loving that feature. That's number two. And then, Andrea, do you have a number three? I do. Because if you don't, I do. I do. Because if you don't, I do. Okay. Go no, ahead, I'm just Matt. <laughs> What's number three? Number three for me is going to be the fact that this is a smaller motorhome. You have good exterior storage and good interior storage. And in a huge shower. Yes. So that is a, a good job by Integra. You know, perfect for state and national parks. Kicking names and taking Kicking butts. Kicking names and taking butts. Yep. Yes. <laughs> well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. The most important part of this video is that if you're interested in buying an Integra coach, please reach out to a member of our team by going to generalrv.com slash Matt's I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, Andrea, and a member of our team will help you guys get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, what say you? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Integra does read the comments and they do watch all the videos. So please leave your feedback. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. I'm Bobby Smurda. <laughs> and we'll see you next, next time. time.